All right, guys. Well, just wanted to stop at Finn's real quick, see him, and also get this photo of Game Over looking like it's being towed by the C8 because, you know, that's just 100% worth it. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me For On YouTube channel. Well, boys, got pulled over. I think it was the blue car that was at fault here. Definitely not my speed, but super cool state trooper. We replied to him. He was applied back, let us off for the warning. So we're back on our way to the high screen cruise. Got some live action to start off the day. So if you're ever driving a C8 and you get pulled over, just so you know, the hazard button is up here because we couldn't find it while we were getting pulled over. And we just had to blink her into the shoulder, but you know, it freaking happens. First fuel up complete. And uh, just feeling spicy out there. Justin, can you confirm we were not doing 80? We were doing like 70. Uh, I know we were, because whenever, we were whenever I saw that cop swoop behind you, I'm looking and I'm like, why is he getting pulled over? I think he I wanted to see the bald eagles. I think so. He was nice, so he was cool. No ticket, so. Took uh, 31 bucks worth of fuel to fill it up. Told the, told the cop I'm back the blue. <laughs> True that, <laughs> we sure do. All right, I want to do a little test launch. We're, not, we're at 300 miles, sorry about your break-in. It's definitely not full rip. It felt way different when I did it in the uh, broken invets. Well, you know, uh, 500 miles they might have been more important than we thought. Whatever, we're still racing it. Gonna let it rip. Maddie, what did you? What's going on? Why don't you explain? Okay, I kind of already did. So okay. I uh, locked both set of keys inside the C8, and I am still freaking out about it currently. Luckily, we have this bag, so hopefully I don't destroy the tent. Oh, the tent's what we're worried about? <laughs> and the longer one. Oh, there you go. Okay, no. Push that. So Maddie just had her first experience embarrassing herself in front of a crowd. <laughs> it couldn't have happened in like a parking lot. It's so funny because like 50 people start crowding around. Every single one goes, Helpful, hey, it? did you call OnStar? Have you tried this? Have you tried this? We called OnStar, but I hadn't set it up yet. It's like an idiot. One guy did say, if you tell him he's a kid in the car, they'll open it. Hey, but he said, uh, he said it's never been, OnStar was like, your car has never been connected before, so we can't get to the active link. So I'm crazy. <laughs> they said because the OnStar has never been activated in the car before, they still couldn't help me. So thankfully, Casey had a bag. We didn't damage the window at all. Got her open. This might be an error on Could Chevy's part. Could have been a part. twitch, but <laughs> it's like a... You missed and hit. Oh, and I, like, yeah. I, I would... like slid it and it, I remember hitting it. And I was like, huh, that's weird. <laughs> it's not weird at all. <laughs> well, it's completely locked. I know you looked at me like, oh my God. When and the you were talking shut. to someone. I was like, um. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Yes. All righty, folks. Rolling up to my first race in the C8. We're a little shy of the break in miles, so. I know they don't let them full, fully sing, but what we're in is the 750 class index. No prep. So, you guys know how this works. You know how Ruby can't run faster than 850 in a lot of her classes. I can't run faster than 750 in this class, but that's in the eighth mile. I don't know what it's gonna run. I'm just gonna floor it, and if I'm ahead of the guy, I'll probably let out a little bit just to make sure I don't break out and go like a 740, because then you're DQ'd. You gotta go 750 or slower. And uh will you how that ends up. And Maddie, you gotta cheer me on. That's the most important part. Alright guys, first pass in the C8 is also the first uh first race it'll ever be in. We're up against a fellow GM product, but it's got a supercharger, CTSB. See how I fit this thing with a helmet. Yeah, it's 
it's not bad not great so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive around the water i'm gonna dry hop it one time and then i'm gonna use the launch control off the line the way they're doing the light because this is a no prep is you light both bulbs and then once he lights both bulbs it's an instant green like a street race like a flashlight coming on and it's anywhere in between a zero and seven second delay so the odds of me red lighting are pretty high just warning you boys <laughs> Ice cream oh, cruise. Ice cream cruise. You gonna take the C8 for a quick <laughs> lap? Uh, I'm not gonna say no to that. <laughs> Here we go. All right, hopefully no one's coming this way. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah, it's super well balanced. Wow. I feel like it'd be so hard to spin one of these out. I'm sure it'll happen one day. I mean, <laughs> it's been a long weekend. I just realized while I was making, making that corner that I'm in a C8 Corvette. And I'm like, wow, this car handles really well. Yeah, wow. <laughs> like, Did you look at that? <laughs> it's also, you know, I mean, it's just, it's balanced really well, but it's got the right amount of power. And yeah. Transmission works really well, so. Yeah, like you floor it and you're waiting for that moment where you're like, maybe I should let off the gas, but you really don't need to. No, it just does it. Come on, boys. We're bringing our roll racer cars out here to get ready and everyone has to be under 40 miles an hour. Except, except for, for Kyle, who <laughs> puts on the event. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, passing on the right. <laughs> Dang, man, it looks so cool. So sick. Hell yeah. I haven't even floored it yet, and I want one. <laughs> I'll trade you for the unicorn. It's way more comfortable than the C7. Yeah, maybe At for least you. for me. Yeah, yeah you're, I'm you're too here. tall. Ah, the boosted boys. Oh, nice, you canted your page. Yeah. Sick, dude. So we're just going to send it up. Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Dude. Hey, it wouldn't be my first time I lost to a minivan, so. <laughs> so, just for people who don't know, this is a K series swapped minivan sequential transmission. What size turbo is on it? Uh, it has a 76 mm 76 millimeter turbo. So, I mean, this is a pretty saucy van. It made a thousand horsepower. Are you in all wheel drive mode? Yeah, this is in all wheel drive mode right now. Okay. All right, well, let's freaking run it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to tell you this, babe, but we might. I might lose to a minivan right here. <laughs> yeah, the CA is really just not getting a good shot at this. You know, we put it against a faster CTSV, now racing a damn minivan with a thousand horsepower. <laughs> hey, what's the retail on one of those? More than you can afford. <laughs> wow. How much are, what is that? How much are O2 Honda Odysseys? I mean, I got this one for 500 bucks. <laughs> All right, you're not wrong then. Yeah, dude, that was pretty rough, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Can't let the minivan take you again, man. Dude, I mean, listen, I I left all 450 ponies on the table there. 
She just didn't have it. <laughs> we were laughing, dude. You pulled um, off on us so hard. I was like, that is like a unique experience seeing a minivan just drive off on you. <laughs> It was awesome, dude. That was awesome. That thing's dialed now, man. Yeah, it's running pretty good. Hell yeah. I think we hit some sort of like cut in like fourth gear. Third was starting to sputter, but I was like, I had to stay in it knowing you. I, knew I mean, you might have been coming for me, but dude, it but was I got epic. out pretty good, so we were. It was awesome. That was sweet, dude. <laughs> what actually happened is someone oiled down the roll racing track, so they said it's going to be a while. Maddie and I have a 23 hour drive, so we actually are rolling out of the ice cream cruise and heading back to Florida. You going to do some be driving? Now we're ready to be home. We've actually been gone for uh, like seven days now. Oh my gosh. So I'm ready to be home. We really miss the dogs. The dogs. <laughs> Especially <laughs> Maddie. <laughs> so we, uh, we're just hopping on the road now, guys. We're now commencing the road tripping portion of today's video. Let's freaking do some driving. We got 1,480 miles to go. All right, here we go, guys. We're gonna have 500 miles. The break-in period's gonna be over on the C8. Wait for it. Close. Keep an eye on the tachometer. We're almost there. The suspense. Oh, I thought the tachometer was gonna do something cool. Maybe it's 501. <laughs> yeah, the red line's supposed to change. Maybe you have to turn it off. Turn there it oh! goes. Pulling up to our first stop here. Did uh, 451 miles on that tank, 77 mile an hour, 27.4 miles to the gallon. And uh, we're at 833 miles now. So pretty good run. And I uh, gotta fuel up and keep on moving. Maddie, it's your turn. Yeah. Is that bright I'm after your right. nap? <laughs> Guys, I am surprised to see, this is I think the biggest Corvette tank they've ever done because C5, 6, and 7 is all 16 gallon. I feel like. Could be totally wrong on that. But this thing holds 17 gallons. What a absolute unit. We're filled up. Back on the road we go. 485 mile oh, days. 485 mile range. Dang. All right, guys. We made it to Nashville. And we are going to stop for the night and grab some sleep. Got some sleep in Nashville. And we are back on the road. Got about 10 hours of driving left to do. Too bad we don't got our fishing rods. <laughs> they're in the bag. Basically a brand new dozer. Take the exit. Thanks Mr. Sheriff for not pulling us over. We might have been cooking a little, little too spicy. We're back down. Now we're just okay. cruising. But guys, exciting news. We're stopping to see Uncle Finn. <laughs> Mr. Finnegan, how are you doing today? This is pretty much my favorite color. I've had three different vehicles painted this color. Yeah. I don't know if you knew that. But... I did not know that. And I'm not a Corvette guy. Yeah. But. It's all right, dude. It's, it's a badass. It's a pretty sick car, it's man. It's badass. I don't think you can get anything that looks this cool for the money besides oh. a C8. It doesn't even look like a Corvette anymore. No. It, it, it looks like the supercar it should have been. Yeah, you know? people are like, what is this thing at gas stations? I'm like, it's a Corvette. They're like, what? Oh, yeah, I like the blue on blue. Yeah. It's pretty cool, man. Well, I'm primarily here to get a picture of Game Over. Yeah. Looking like it's being towed by the C8. I understand. Can we make that happen? Yeah, the yeah. want is real. I I'll push it. Yeah. How about that video, man? It's like two, <laughs> two million views or something. Is it up to two million? Yeah. Wow. It's like, holy cow, people love it. Wow, it, it that thing is basically the most popular thing on my channel. Yeah, it's I, just such a cool item. Weird, because I don't know anyone that can really relate to it. You know? Yeah, I mean, I think they're just, all waiting for me to die. I think it's just because it's so flat out dangerous and unique that you can't not watch. Or they're watching to see, you know, it's, it's today the day. You know? yeah. <laughs> it all goes wrong. Yeah, maybe. All right, so fans, is this a good time to announce that you're going on Race Week 2.0? Sure, why not? I mean. It's taking pretty, the boat though. <laughs> it's pretty exciting. Yeah, so guys, we're actually not taking race cars. I'll be driving the C8. Finn's going to be riding in the boat. I'll be dropping him off at any uh, river or lake we come up on. Yeah, you do all the land stuff. I'll do all the boat stuff. And together we'll set two different records. That'll be perfect. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right, guys. Well, just wanted to stop at Finn's real quick, see him, and also get this photo of Game Over looking like 
being towed by the C8 because, you know, that's just 100% worth it. <laughs> All right, back on the road we go. All right, we have made it to Atlanta, Georgia. We've got about oh, six and a half hours back to Bradenton. But uh, good old Atlanta. Drives you on pretty well, just cruising right along. Woo! Yay! Right. How's your driving going? Uh, it was great when you were talking to me. Well, why? <laughs> me sleeping is... You were I'm not allowed to sleep. You were snoring in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's good. It's All right, guys, we got 1,597 miles on the car. We're about 256 miles from home. We're both ready to be out of the car for a while. <laughs> it's been a long journey. I don't even want to go to work tomorrow to drive there. Can you drive me? <laughs> I'll drop you off. Fuel level is on low, about as close as it can get. Where's Your energy is on low. Mine's on low. Very low. <laughs> we have made it back to the house. Woo. But we're not gonna end it off till you guys get to see the dogs. We're gonna let them out. <laughs> All right, guys. Old Blueberry's looking pretty clean, honestly. The ceramic coat really helps, but uh, a lot of brake dust because the wheels weren't done. So I'm excited to get my wheels on it this week. Overall, I'm super happy with the car. We put uh, 1,900 miles on it or something like that, 1,800, close to 2,000 miles on it in three days of ownership. So super excited and Really enjoyed driving with Maddie, but hold on, here comes the pups. Oh, hey guys! Hello! What's up? What's up? Skiff, how was your week? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Check out the new whip, guys. What do you think? Don't need our food. All right, guys, we're ending off there. Goodbye, Maddie. Bye. <laughs> see you later. All right, guys, we're going to go get some sleep. Thanks for watching Do It For Dale. We'll freaking see you later.